Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra's moon, sun, and rising. If you guys are interested in any private consultations or any of my services, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get with your reading Libra, see what Spirit Guide has for you guys for the month of October 2017. Spirit Guide's what are the messages for Libra? been shuffling for quite a while. I just have not got the... Okay, I think this is... No, one more. Uh, what's going on, Libras? What's going on with you guys? Okay, I think one more. Okay, one more. All right. Let's get into your reading, Libras. First card. Ace of Cups. Judgment card. Three of Swords. Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. Five of Wands. Two of Swords. What in the blue hell? Two of Cups, Star Card, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Coins. Wow. Libras, what's going on? Jesus, look, Five of Swords. Okay, so the Five of Swords, this is your general energy for the month of October. So the Five of Swords is obviously to do with arguments, misunderstandings, miscommunications. Someone's not speaking up. Whether this is you or whether this is your partner, someone is definitely keeping things uh, almost suppressed. There's a lot, a lot of sword cards. So you guys are all in your mind in the month of October. Um, so let's get into the reading. You have the Ace here, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is obviously new beginnings. But I feel that you're not embracing the new beginnings because you have the judgment card. So the judgment card could be represented obviously as a, uh, you know, things from the past coming back into your life or you not wanting to embrace new beginnings because you're still stuck in the past. I think this has been reoccurring for you Libras for, I want to say the last four or five months. Um, you guys just keep getting judgment. Not sure what's going on there, but okay so you guys are not wanting to embrace new beginnings or you're not really putting yourself 100 percent in relationships when you try to move on it's like you don't want to put or commit yourself 100 percent because you are carrying things from the past or you did someone wrong in the past because there's a three of swords here. A three of swords obviously has to do with third party energies or uh, obviously betrayal, hurt. This could be, it is a general reading. So it could be both you or the person, you know, did wrong to you. Um, nonetheless, there was definitely betrayal and uh, cheating involved, third party type of energies here. Now the page of swords is either you Libra are keeping an eye on someone um, from a distance you don't want them to know that you are uh, wanting to know what they're what they've been up to what they're doing with their life almost literally the way this picture is depicted like looking towards that person but it from a distance not letting them know not wanting to share with them that they're still on your mind uh, and again, it's this is preventing you from moving forward because either you still have feelings for this person or you are emotionally invested in this new relationship, but because of the past, because of the past hurts, you're not wanting to commit yourself 100%. It's like you're guarded, Libra. Um, now, judgment can also be um, 
it can also be you judging other people harshly. So if you're dealing with a water sign, Libra, which is a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or a person that takes on the attributes of the Ace of Cups, which is a, a water element, uh, someone that's very nurturing, very caring, it's almost like you don't want to really appreciate or emotionally bond, bond, like bond with this person because you fear, you're judging that you're going to be done, that they're going to do to you what was done to you, that they're basically like history is going to repeat itself, that you're going to be treated or that you're going to be betrayed or that you're going to end up being hurt like you were in the past, okay? Now, you do have the Ten of Swords here, and the Ten of Swords is endings, obviously. Uh, this is, you know, there's no way around this. There was definitely an ending um, or going to be an ending. So for some of you guys, it's walking away from a relationship that no longer serves you. Uh, perhaps it's you coming to the realization that the person you're currently with is just not going to, it's not so much that you're not opening up to them because of past traumas, but it, this can also represent the fact that you come to the realization that you can force yourself to feel something for someone that you don't. And it probably has to do with because you still have feelings for someone from the past. So the Ten of Swords is walking away or ending something, finally coming to a conclusion. Now you have the Five of Wands here, and the Five of Wands is right under the Judgment card. So again, it could be arguments, misunderstandings. It can also have to do with you being very judgmental on other people. Um, try the best to watch that, Libras. Uh, try the best you can to know how to mediate um, and not pass quick judgment on people without really knowing circumstances or situations, um, especially if there's a lot of miscommunication. There's a lot of swords energy here. So there's tell this is telling me that you guys are very mental. You guys are very into your in your head, basically, for the month of October. There's a lot of blockages going on with you guys. So it could be blockages in regards to love. It could be blockages of the fact that, again, like I said, you're not able to move on because you're holding on to a feeling that you perhaps never expressed, you never told someone what you felt for them. Um, and again, it's like either they walked out or you walked out from the relationship kind of giving up too quickly. But again, you moved on and by moving on, you're still unable to commit or give yourself to this new person. Um, and it's due to the fact of either fear of commitment. I mean, the 10... The Ten of Swords and the Five of uh, Swords could be a representation of a person that is commitment phobe, okay, because the Ace is here, so it's talking about relationships. Um, so again, it could be you or it could be the person that you're dealing with, um, but again, I feel that there's a lot of misunderstandings, and it's having to do with you being a little bit almost quick to judge or uh, kind of you're making your partner feel like they just can't um, they just can't impress you or they can't make you happy. And there's this notion behind it that it's not that they're unable to, it's just that you're still holding on to feelings from another a partner or another person that was, I mean, it could, it could have been years ago, uh, that you're not dealing with this person no longer, but nonetheless, that feeling is still there. And again, this is definitely your energy, Libra. <laughs> So it's uh, either you checking on them. Um, it could be them checking on you as well. But I feel that this is more your energy. So you do have two, two twos here. Um, the two of swords being stuck, not wanting to make a choice, not wanting to make a decision. And you have the two of cups. So you're not wanting to make a decision, a decision or a choice uh, having to do with your emotions or having to do with the fact, again, like I said, coming to the understanding that you can't force yourself to love someone. If the love is not there, it's just not there. Or the fact that you're not wanting to accept that perhaps you walked away from a relationship where you actually did have feelings for this person. And again, it's like you never really put it out there, how much they actually meant to you. Uh, these two twos, again, it's all about 
it's talking about choices but also balance within yourself you're not balanced for the month of october libra so balance is going to be very important for you guys i know libras tend to be i mean you guys are an air sign and you guys are definitely very mental type of creatures but again these uh, swords are definitely um mental energy but more than mental they're blockages fives are, are are always to do with inner struggles that's your general energy you're going through emotional or inner struggles within yourself that you're still fighting not wanting to either express or not wanting to vent not wanting to face not wanting to basically you're not wanting to now the three is obviously betrayal hurt um and tens obviously endings choose not wanting to make a choice and feeling stuck but you're stuck not because you're physically stuck but because you choose to be mentally stuck you don't want to make that choice the two of cups again has to do with feelings emotions and relationships but it can also be very well representation of duality um or two people two actual people like you dealing with a new person holding on to the past or holding on to a past lover now you do have the star card here so it's like once this new beginning um was given to you you kind of blocked yourself or decided not to move forward or you're just being stuck you're just dealing with them because at this present time you don't want to make up your mind you don't want to choose maybe it's out of fear that you're going to be alone um for some libras you know uh being single is not a good thing uh for some of you guys because you guys are uh, ruled by Venus so a beauty and and everything that comes with that and with love it's it's it, you guys are more in love with the idea of love than actually love so there is a need for being in a relationship um, for some of you guys so the star card is definitely talking about having clarity coming by the end of the month you're gonna get clarity in regards to what you want to do then you have the six of swords moving on so it's like you're making a choice here with this star card or universe giving you the green light of what you should do listen to um, pay very close attention to your intuition Libras and also pay very close attention to your dreams uh, perhaps they're guiding you through the dreams spirit guides are guiding you through the dreams uh, trying to make it easier for you uh, to actually listen to the universe and what universe is trying to tell you but you're finally being able to move on from this stuckness type of energy and you have the seven of swords here the seven of swords is again feeling like um almost like there's an uncertainty connected uh for some of you guys it could be that you guys were cheated on in the past uh perhaps you're dealing with the partner that's kind of showing those those flags those red flags coming up because you do have the three here three of swords two of swords being stuck and not having clarity in regards to third party energy and finally, the seven of swords, the truth, the sneaking is the lies come out to light. Um, so again, like I said, the star card is definitely going to, you're going to be told, uh, universe is going to tell you exactly what steps to take. And finally, you're going to be able to get that clarity, um, that clarity of whatever it is that people have been hiding from you because the seven of swords is here. Seven of swords is definitely talking about sneaky behavior. Um cheating stealing that type of energy and then you have the seven of coins here the seven of coins is again you're gonna get this you're gonna get this clarity and based on this clarity that's given to you for the month of october you're gonna have a clear understanding or a deeper understanding of what went wrong in the past even if it comes to the point of taking self-responsibility for what has correlated after that uh, seven of pentacles is definitely talking about being able to move forward with the six of swords moving on moving away from turbulent waters and the seven of coins here uh, being able to take some time off to actually go within yourself and figure out what it is that you want at this point whether it be to be single or whether it's to actually um, reach out to a person that perhaps you are still missing or perhaps you're still wanting that connection the page of swords here is definitely talking about like it's almost that stalkerish type of energy um looking to someone um 
seeing how they've been trying to figure that out. The Two of Cups is feelings involved. That's the reason why you still can't move on. And finally, the Seven of Coins here uh, having to do with going back or regressing to what really happened and taking self-responsibility for, if anything, on your part that perhaps you didn't try, perhaps you didn't, whatever it is, um, but being able to pull away from this negative energy and this negative um this uncertainty now i do want to get clarity you guys give me one second okay let me get clarity in regards to this three here spread why is this three of swords here spread guys why is this three of swords here giving clarity for the three of swords Mm. Clarity for this two of swords. Clarity for this two of swords. Let's bring it. Let's give me clarity for this two of swords. Clarity for this two of swords. Yeah. Clarity for the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? Seven of swords here. My clarity for the seven of swords. Okay. So I asked for clarity for this three of swords, and there was definitely, again, like I said, uh, there was some cheating involved. Whether this was a person from your past that cheated on you, or whether it was you who cheated on the person from the past, um, but you're still unable to move on from that. Uh, the Knight of Cups definitely talks about, you know, uh, immature type of energy, someone that comes and goes, but it can also represent a person that is very flirtatious, uh, whether it's your, whether it's your ex-partner. But again, this Page of Swords, this is definitely your energy, Libra. So again, like I said, it could be you, it could be the person from your past. It is a general reading, but there's definitely still uh, wanting or the desire to want to reach out. Now, I wanted to get clarity in regards to this Two of Swords. Why are you guys not making a choice? Why is there a stuckness? And obviously, this has to do with new beginnings. Uh, the reason why you're not wanting to make a choice again could be the fear of not being able to manifest what you're wanting or the fear to actually start a new relationship. Now, you do have two aces here. So I feel that once you're able to make a choice and move from that, make the choice and stick to it, Libra. Don't. I know some of you guys can tend to be very indecisive. Libras are known for that. Um, but try the best you can to make a choice. Make up your mind. Once you have made up your mind, move forward. Don't look back. Um, whether it's to move on or whether it's to actually put your full fo focus and effort into this relationship. Uh, because you do have two aces here. So again, um, the stuckness or not wanting to make a choice. For, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a water sign, which would be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For others, it may be that you're stuck between a water sign and an earth sign uh, because the Ace of uh, Coins is here. Earth signs would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So again, I did want to get clarity in regards to the seven, the sneaky behavior and the cheating. Uh, and you have the Ten of Cups here. So for some of you guys, you guys have recently found out that perhaps a family member or someone you knew or a friend was stealing from you or was being sneaky or for some unfortunately could be the fact that there was cheating involved and it had to do with um, either family members or a friend someone you considered very close to you so again um, I truly wish you guys the best comment like share my videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and we will see each other the middle of the month okay we'll see you guys soon bye